Hello, in this tutorial I will teach you how to connect Excel to Kobo. Um, this is a really great feature um, uh, that uh, Excel has right now. So you can connect to any um, external sources um, such as Kobo. It's really helpful for you because let's imagine that you have a survey uh, that will last around five weeks or three weeks. And then you need to check every day um, the status of your data collection process. Um, so every time that people are in the field, they will collect the information through Kobo, which is an open data source um, app that allow you to do a survey directly on smartphone or tablet. And then people can just send the information from the tablet to the cloud. And then you can connect your Excel to the Kobo Collect cloud and so that every day you can refresh and update um, the information in your data set. This is a really nice feature because you don't need it um, every time to open um, Kobo Collect and download a new Excel file and to, to see where you stand in terms of data collection. So you just need to be able to connect your Excel with um, Kobo Collect and do an update in your Excel to get a new information, new um, data that has been collected um, during uh, the day. Um, to do this process, uh, you, you basically need to first get the, the URL from um, your, your file in, in Kobo. And then the second step is to really pull the data into Excel. And lastly, the most important, um, a nice feature is refreshing the data. So we'll go uh, over these three steps uh, together and see how it works. Um, the first thing you know you know you, you need to do when you if you want to get the URL for for your project in Kobo is to go in that um, web like um, KC humanitarian response dot info slash API v1 through this uh, link you will be able to get the, uh, the URL for all your project in a specific uh, Kobo account. So let me let me start just some um, copying and pasting this in, in into my browser. Control C and I open my browser and Control V. All right, so it opened a new uh, window for me and on the data, I will go on the API V1 data. This will um, allow me to retrieve all the, U, the URL for all my project in a specific account. So I click on it and see what happened right now. I'm asking, I'm asking to provide a username and password. And basically this is the password, the username for your Kobo account and the password associated to it. Um, for this tutorial, I have, um, I'm going to use my personal Kobo account. And I put my password, which is a nice password that I have. <laughs> exactly. So it opened a new window for me. And don't worry about all of this um, programming stuff. I just need to go in this um, get here. And as we want to connect um, my Kobo to Excel or Excel to my, my Kobo, we, we'll, we need to select uh, XLS. In the case that you wanted to export your data as a CSV format, uh, you will click. But in that case, I'm, I'm going to click. Um, I'm going to click um, XLS here, right? And automatically, um, you see it will open a, a file for me. I say open, and it will ask me on how do I want to open this file. Usually, I prefer to to use a Word because I'm more mostly familiar with Word. Um, so I click Word and OK, and op it opened a new Word form um, document for me. And wow, um, don't be afraid of this. I'm going to explain you what's going on here. Basically, this is the information that um, uh, you have for each of your file in 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 Kobo. And um, basically, I resume this for you um, as 
Yes, for each um, project you have in Kobo, um, this file will give you the description, the ID, the ID string, the title, and the URL for your project. So what I'm going to look for my each of the project is this part here uh, on the format. And you can see, for example, here uh, in the first one, and every project you know you will start with other other it direct and so it is my first project this is the id the id string here the title and a little bit of description and the url so what it requires you is to really understand um what you have in your kobo account in my case i'm going to look for a project that i uh, have uh, named as a client so um I'm going to look for you know the description in all of these um, for a project called client and try to look for the url so i go and usually i start looking at the order order it direct is that mean it's it will be a new project uh, with the information associated so the second one will be that one here um looking for my client project Yep, exactly. So you see, um, the description, you know, the title of my project is client. So I will, this is the description, I still call it client, and the URL is here. And basically, this is my URL here. So I will copy it. I like to copy it, um, this one, and put it in the in the word, Control C, and put in a word because there is a little bit, bit of work to do in this. Right, so this is what I get from from the the Kubo account, but I need to remove some some part. You see this one. It really need to be started by HTTPS, and then every um every um component of this link, um including the, the ink that is coming after the question mark, including the question that need to be removed. So I will remove it and delete this. Uh, and I keep and I need to keep Excel dot and I remove the rest. <laughs> All right, this is my link. Let me redo it for you on All right, this is the way that I copy uh, from this link here from this document here. You see, this is what I copied because I identify my client, which is the, the file that I want to connect um, with Excel. So I copy it on and I put it on a, on the word again, and I have to so do some trimming work. So I'm removing this part here and everything that is coming after format, including the, uh, uh, including the question mark and need to be removed. So I will keep only the XLS here. So I'm removing um, the this one, the equal format, removing all the way through the question mark. And I put a comma, which is the extension name for this file, which is XLS for Excel. And I remove this part here. And basically, this is my um, URL for the client file that I have in Kobo. Now I can just open a new form, a new Excel. And I will copy this link in my Excel and I will teach you quickly how to do it. All right. So to connect your Excel with the um, with Kobo, now you just go in data. And basically there is two ways you can connect it. Um in some in some Excel version you will get automatically the get data, or you will in, but most likely you will have the form web. So um you can go and get data. And from other sources, you will see you have um, um, from the web somewhere here. It's supposed to be exactly from the web here, which is basically the same thing thing here. But most likely, you when you do your Excel version will have this from web. So I click on it. All right. So now it is asking me to copy um, the URL that I just have had previously um so i'm copying it control c and put it here control v and then i will click okay so leave it as basic i don't need to put advanced so i'm putting it as basic and then i click okay 
in Excel will link will connect more to my to my Kobo. And I know this is the, the name um on, on my Kobo as well, you know. So I just click it and then you say you can do a lot of edit but basically um it will um, it will i will have to load it here we go this is my project in kobo that has been linked to excel so you can see that i have so far four cases um, and then once I'm done with this, I just need to save this. I usually like to put it in my C, my desktop, my desktop, so and I call it, it link in my as desktop a title. All right, now I can also um, I can do some updates so as i said in my, um, previously um i can you know as my survey is going on in the field and that are sent to the cloud in, in kubo i can update and i can refresh my information so let me do an, uh, an example for you um so you can see that now i have four cases i will go in my kubo account and i will add two additional cases so you will have six additional six cases here so let me go in my Kobo account and you will you understand how how it is cool to do this kind of stuff um, so let me go in my account Kobo account and I will add All right, I'm in my Kobo account. I'll go to project and I click client. One thing I forgot to mention to you, um, to be able to connect um, Kobo to Excel, your project need to be um, in a, a public share mode. So um, if you go to project setting here, this part here need to be um, share project publicly always yes and share data publicly yes um, sometimes it will be like that at the first time but you always need to put it yes so that you can allow the process of connecting a Kobo to um, to um, Excel all right so let me go um, let me go back and and add two more cases because you can see that I have four cases. So I will put I will do this through the browser because I don't have it yet on my smartphone or tablet. So I will put in input directly the data into my computer. Alright, so let me add additional name. James name. Um age. I think I'm assuming this guy has 58. 58. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 58. Okay, all right. I don't know. Okay, and wait. And then I'm submitting it. All right, let me add one more case. Carson, the name, age, I will put. All right. And I submit it. All right, so I can. I can it from my project and out and I go back to my Excel all right so far you see that you have only four cases and but remember that um, I just um, added two more cases in in my Kobo and I just and I don't need to go back in Kobo and download the new Excel file so I just I'm just going to do a refresh so to do that um, it's the same process you go to data and you click um, refresh all and select refresh all and you will see automatically here two more cases will be added to my data set what happened refresh all exactly here we go we have the two more case two two cases were added to my 
um, that uh, to my Excel data set. So you remember we put James and Carson. So this is the beauty of collect connecting Kobo with Excel. So you don't need every time to go back in X in Kobo Collect and your account and download the new Excel file. So you can connect directly Excel to Kobo Collect and then just do a refresh as information as survey uh, sent to the cloud in Kobo. Here you go. Voila, monsieur. Um, so let me know if you have questions and shoot me uh, an email and I'll be more than happy um, to answer you. Thank you.